Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is set for RR34 coming to you guys live once again with another video. All right, guys, I got this report for you. If you go to my Twitter, I'm talking about the seventh floor group. A lot of you guys may not know who this group is. It's, it's some more weird stuff going on in Washington, D.C. I'm going to read you a report. Now, Secretary Rex Tiller began deconstructing the seventh floor shadow government at the State Department. The shadow government? Deep State? What are you talking about, Randall? You sound crazy. What? I know it sounds crazy, but people, this stuff happens. There are people in government that have their own agendas and motives. Kind of like the story that I did last night about Secretary of Labor just leaving. Why would a guy just leave like that? The term shadow government is not a construct of critics. It's actually the term the professional bureaucrats within the seventh floor of the Washington, D.C. based Department of State gave themselves. These are a bunch of state officials, high state officials, that gather every Wednesday in Washington. Yo, this is some serious shit. This is serious. Donald Trump ain't playing. Check this out. These are co the career political operatives who reign within the State Department openly view themselves as a distinctly Separate state governing authority. Did you hear that, America? These people think that they're like gods or something. With no attachment to the policies or objectives of the United States presidency. Or any mere elected official therein. These people think they're above the law. And wait till you see, wait until you see the picture that I'm going to post on my Twitter, man, it's like a masterpiece. You got all these high-end officials, the same people that you see getting up and saying saying all this madness about, oh, Russia hacked us and all this stuff. They're all a part of that group. It's unbelievable. For years, this group has considered themselves the untouchables. And you know there are Democrats in there, a lot of Democrats, and some Republicans in there. This is what's going on. This is what Donald Trump was talking about, cleaning up the swamp. They just, Mr. Teller just went up there and said, your services, he went to the seventh floor and told them, just want to make sure that there's no CIA or FBI listening on my conversation because you know how they like to do when people start talking about secret stuff. So Teller went in there and basically told those people, your services are no longer needed. You guys can roll out. You guys can leave. Kick them all out. That's what President Trump is doing. This is stuff that mainstream media isn't reporting. This is why they're so pissed. This is why they're trying to break, destroy Donald Trump. Because he's... Donald Trump is stopping them and just... Dis, de, I mean, just dismantling their whole entire plan. It's falling apart. It's unreal. Oh my God, hopefully the, the, man, I didn't have my headphones on, hopefully it caught everything I said, man, oh my God, please, I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> <coughs> they live a life of high financed indulgence, including massive expense accounts that we have to pay for as taxpayers, chartered airline travel, we have to pay for that, swanky cocktail parties, we gotta pay for that, expense, expense chauffeurs to take their kids to private schools, we gotta pay for that, seasonal design home decor, we gotta pay for that, appointed by only the very best interior designers, we gotta pay for that, personal security to keep the commoners away, we gotta pay for that, man, these people... <sighs> 
man, I feel like kicking these people's asses. When I start reading stuff like this, and I see the shit that we're going through, like, as people in America, like, $100 doesn't even last as long as it used to anymore. You can go and spend $1,000 in, like, you can spend $1,000 in a minute just buying a laptop or a phone. Gone. $1,000 gone. Tickets to be to the best venues and reserve seating at elite DC restaurants. Get the fuck out of here. These people are out of their fucking mind. This is why this is why everything has to change. This is why all this money is being spent. This is Oh, okay. My son found a dollar. So, this is this is getting this is getting crazy. Man. Now, Today, this elite crew collectively choked on their crustless triangle sandwiches. You know, those little triangle sandwiches, those little fancy sandwiches that they serve at these places when all these rich, these rich people go to go have a big plate. Mm, yes, uh, let me get one of those. Tr- let me get one of those. Let me get some coffee, y'all. Yeah, some, some wine, thank you. You know how these people are. You know how they are. They don't give a shit about us. While, while we're eating opossum and roadkill these people are in their mansions having parties while we're having to work our asses off thank god for trump two sources also told cbs news that the ambassador christy kenny the counselor of the state department and one of the last remaining senior officials was informed that she will be let go bye she is a career foreign that means she's been doing this for man when they say career politicians that means these people been there for a long time she is a career foreign service officer who had served as an ambassador under president obama bush and clinton of course she did her staff was told that secretary tillerson does not intend to fill the counselor's position anytime soon so you guys all you guys you guys can go we don't need you Yes, we don't need you. Two sources also told CBS News. Hold on. I'm rereading something. It is irresponsible to let qualified, nonpartisan, experienced people go before you and have any idea of their replacement. You can't do foreign policy by sitting in the White House just out of your back pocket, explains Tom Countryman, former assistant secretary for nonproliferation, who was let go earlier this month. Oh, he was upset. The gravy train is over, baby. Countryman countryman worries that the White House is displaying an intent to rely on the State Department for foreign policy and that no one will be in place to challenge the edicts drawn up in the Oval Office. Good. We don't trust none of you guys. We don't trust none of you bastards. All you... All you politicians that have been taking advantage of the people, it's stopping. It's stopping. But like I said, that these people they're gonna retaliate. They're going to retaliate. Ah yes. Who remain to challenge the edicts of the Oval Office? You know what an edict is? Let's look that up. Let me look that up because I want you guys to know what an edict is. An edict is something that the Pope used to do, uh back in the day so let me uh let me get the definition for you guys so that way you guys know what an edict is and why there's and why they're saying edict is an official order or proclamation issued by a person of authority. Okay? It's also synonymous with decree, order, command, commandment, mandate, pronouncement, proclamation. The whole the whole point of that word is when you're when you're when you hear that word, a lot of people it sounds bad. It doesn't sound like oh he's an edict from the oval office. It, 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 it carries a certain tone to it. The, the tone of the word doesn't sound good. So when somebody, you know, the people who think they're right and they're wrong, those people, they're going to they're, they're gonna say, oh, my God, this is not the 1700s. You know? 1700s. 
So, then there's a picture, a screenshot of a document, and I think this is this is an FBI document because a couple of months ago, uh, a YouTuber posted this, and I read it and I saw it. That this is an FBI document, and it talks about this group, and they've blacked out some of the names of the people. You know, so they can't be held accountable. Is this true? Are you were you part of this? Were you engaged in this in these types of activities? So I'm gonna post that in my Twitter, so that way you guys can read it. Um, I'll also post the link uh, to this story, so you guys can uh, read it. Uh, I got this story from uh, it's called The Last Refuge. It's somebody, you know, I read his articles. And uh, I'm doing it in, and just so you guys know, I'm doing this in the dark to kind of give it like a little, you know, a little conspiracy type. Mm, 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 mm. So other than that, America, um, it's uh, February 18th. Oh, I got the, we got our, uh, we got the response on our taxes. So I'll be getting my money deposit or our money will be deposited on um, the 20, what's today, the 18th. It, we should get it on the 24th of this month. It'll be deposited, which is, I think, Friday. So hopefully I'll be able to get the camera. I'll be buying the camera and a Mac uh, laptop. And I'll be buying some lighting. So that way I can light it, light the uh, area better so we don't have these dark videos. Because I know some of you guys don't like this stuff. And I want to make it more professional, you know, for you guys. And, and I need a better you know computer to make the thumbnails and stuff because i want to make it more professional you know for you guys so i i want to tell you guys you know i thank you very much i really appreciate you guys toughing it out with me but also you're seeing the, the growth of the channel and you're seeing how i started you know to to now you know we got over 700 subscribers so i want to thank you guys and i really appreciate it don't think that i don't because i do and i try to do my best to respond to as many people as i can on the channel so i'm going to post this um up check it out read the article and remember you know if you're new to my channel like and subscribe put the bell up you know talk talk in the in the comments talk to the people see what they have to say you know that's what my channel is about it's about you, it's about the people, and it's about being informed. Because what is the press supposed to do? The press is supposed to inform the people about about the truth, about what's really going down. And they're not talking about this stuff. This stuff, people, this stuff is going on. And whether or not, you may not believe it, but it's happening, people. There are people in government, like the seventh floor group, and you'd be surprised at what these people are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and post the picture on my Twitter so check out my Twitter it'll be posted in the description and oh and I have some some products in there um, I'm just an affiliate so and they're just like you know s common sense stuff for an emergency like MREs and I think I have like a like a striker I'm gonna add more products there because that's gonna be things that people need so as time goes on, you, you know, if you scroll down the description, you'll start seeing more and more stuff pop pop up. Check it out. You know, it's good. And it's just common sense stuff that you should have just in case of an emergency. All right, people. You guys have a good day. This is the start of the day. And uh, I, hopefully I'll make an agenda video so that way we know what's going on, what videos we're going to be doing for the day. All right, people.